हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम अंजना फ्रॉम लर्नो हब द फ्री लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म वे कैन स्टडी मैथ साइंस एंड एस एस टी एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री एट लर्नो हब डॉट कॉम In today's class, we are going to discuss ICC Class 9 Maths Chapter 1, Rational and Irrational Number. We have already studied the concept of rational numbers in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it first. Today, we'll be discussing about irrational numbers. Also, we'll be solving questions from Exercise 1B. Ready for this class? Let's begin. We have studied that there are two types of real numbers. One is rational numbers, and the second is irrational numbers. We have defined rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers of the form a by b, where a and b are integers and b not equal to zero. If these conditions are not followed, any of these conditions is not followed, then we call it as an irrational number. A number which is not a rational number is an irrational number. For example, when you take the square root of some natural numbers, example root two, root three. etc and try to find their decimal expansion is not going to stop okay it is neither terminating nor it is repeating we have understood that a rational number should be like uh, for example if you take the case of 0.66666 etc which is equal to 0.6 bar this is a rational number why because the same number is repeating or it should terminate somewhere that is 1.75 when you take the decimal expansion 1.75 it is terminating it is stopping so this is also a rational number if a number doesn't stop okay that is on dividing when you find the decimal expansion it is neither repeating nor it is terminating we call it as an irrational number so when you take the decimal expansion of root 2 root 3 etc you will be getting a non terminating non repeating number okay the decimal expansion will be like that so in that case we call it as an irrational numbers so very important example for rational number is the pi Okay, so we have said that pi is equal to twenty two by seven. This is just an approximate value. When you take the actual decimal expansion of pi, it is three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero, and it is continue. It is not going to stop. So, what do you understand from this? Here, the number is not terminating, nor any of these numbers are repeating. It is in a specific pattern; it is not repeating. You cannot put a bar and represent it. So, we call it as an irrational number. So, understood what are rational numbers and what are irrational numbers? For example, if you have a number zero point four one four two four three four 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 five etc. So, here four is there. Four is repeating, but there is not a specific factor. If it is zero point four one four one four one etc., you can represent it as zero point four one bar. Okay, in a definite pattern, it is the numbers are repeating. Four one is going to repeat, but here it is four one, then it is four two, then it is four three. So there is no, we cannot put that bar. So this is an example of an irrational number. So understood the idea about what are irrational numbers? Now with an example, let us understand how to show if a number is irrational. We are going to prove root two is irrational. Okay. So first step is you have to assume that root two is rational. Assume root two is rational. If root two is rational, we can write it in the form a by b because rational numbers can be expressed in the form a by b, where a and b are integers and b not equal to zero. Therefore, root two will be equal to a by b. The next step is you are going to square on both sides. Squaring on both sides. What do we get? This will be root two square is equal to a by b whole square. Root two square is two, and this is a square by b square. Next step, you are taking this b square to the opposite side. Then you will be having a square is equal to two b square. If a square is equal to two b square, then we can say that a square is divisible by two. Because then we can write b square is equal to a square divided by two. A square is divisible by two. If a square is divisible by two, then a will also be divisible by two. Okay, a square. Is divisible by two. Therefore, a is also divisible by two. Okay. Now, if a is divisible by two, then you can write a is equal to some two c. Let's see some other number. Okay. If a is equal to two c, then squaring 
again we are going to square squaring on both sides we get a square is equal to 2c whole square which is 4c square what is a square we have a square is equal to 2b square 2b square is equal to 4c square and b square is equal to 4c square by 2 which is 2c square what does it mean b square is divisible by 2 and then b will also be divisible by 2 b square is divisible by 2 therefore b is divisible by 2 okay so this from here we have b square is equal to 2c square this we are taking as equation 2 so when you compare first equation and second equation from first equation a square is equal to b square and second equation b square is equal to 2 square c square we got that a is divisible by 2 and b is divisible by 2 so here our number root 2 is in the form a by b a is divisible by 2 and b is divisible by 2 what does it mean 2 is a common factor for both of these okay 2 is common okay so can you call these two numbers co prime so we need a condition we had a condition that for rational numbers a and b should be co prime so here there is a common factor so it is not co prime so we can say that the statement is wrong the, our prediction that root 2 is rational is wrong okay so from 1 and 2 we are getting contradictory statements and therefore we can say that root 2 is not rational okay root 2 is irrational our assumption is wrong clear so this is how you can prove that root 2 is irrational okay if it is root 3 root 5 root 7 any of these you, can, you are going to use the same steps you're just going to change the number let's take the second example to prove root 5 is irrational how to show root 5 is irrational first step you have to make the assumption what is the assumption assume root 5 is rational okay we have assumed root 5 is rational so root 5 can be written in the form a by b next step squaring on squaring we'll be getting root 5 square is equal to a by b whole square root 5 square is 5 equal to a square by b square and then a square will be equal to 5 b square if a square is equal to 5 b square we will be having a square is divisible by divisible by 5 therefore a is divisible by 5 okay therefore a can be returned in the form 5c if a is equal to 5c now again squaring what do we get a square is equal to 25 c square what is a square a square is 5b square 5b square is equal to 25c square then b square will be equal to 5c square 25 by 5 is 5 b square is equal to 5c square okay this is second equation okay so here from here you will be having b square is divisible by 5 therefore b is also divisible by 5 so here we have from the first and the second equations from these statements we will be having for a and b we have taken the fraction a and b root 5 is equal to a and b what is common 5 is a common factor okay 5 is common factor therefore our assumption is wrong and we will be getting root 5 is irrational it is not a rational number it is irrational okay third example to prove that root 5 minus root 3 is irrational again we will start with the assumption root 5 minus root 3 is rational so first step assume root 5 minus root 3 is rational so it can be expressed in the form a by b let's take root 5 minus root 3 is equal to some x x means a is equal to x and b is equal to 1 which is a rational number okay next step is squaring squaring on both sides what do we get 
रूट फाइव माइनस रूट थ्री होल स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर ओके रूट फाइव माइनस रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू इंटू ए इंटू बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर रूट फाइव स्क्वायर इज फाइव माइनस टू रूट फाइव रूट फाइव इंटू रूट थ्री इज रूट फिफ्टीन प्लस बी स्क्वायर रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर इज रूट एन स्क्वायर कैन बी रिमूव थ्री इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर ओके फाइव प्लस थ्री एट माइनस टू रूट फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर ओके सो विल बी हैविंग वी आर टेकिंग दिस टू रूट फिफ्टीन टू द ऑपोजिट साइड एंड एक्स स्क्वायर टू द ऑपोजिट साइड वी गेट एट माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू रूट फिफ्टीन माइनस टू रूट फिफ्टीन बिकम्स प्लस टू रूट फिफ्टीन और विल बी हैविंग रूट फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू एट माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई टू एट माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई टू ओके सो हियर वी हैव एक्स इज रैशनल एक्स इज rational if x is rational then x square is rational okay x square is rational what about 8 minus x square 8 minus x square 8 is a rational number x square is a rational number therefore 8 minus x square is rational what about 8 minus x square divided by 2 8 minus x square is rational divided by 2 2 is a rational number therefore this is also a rational number What about root fifteen? What about root fifteen? Is this root fifteen a rational number? No, root fifteen is irrational. Okay, if root fifteen is irrational, then if left hand side is irrational, then the right hand side should also be irrational. Eight minus x square divided by two is irrational. Then, okay, this will be rational. If eight minus x square divided by two is irrational, then eight minus x square is irrational. Eight minus x square is irrational. If eight minus x square is irrational, eight cannot be irrational. It is a rational number. X square should be rational. Yes, x square is irrational. If x square is irrational, then surely x should be irrational. Okay, x is irrational. So in the first statement, what we have taken, we have taken x is a rational number, and the second, what we are obtaining is x is irrational. So these two are two contradictory statements. Okay, x cannot be both rational number and an irrational number. So we are getting contradictory statement. What does it mean? Our assumption is wrong. Okay, and this is the proof for root five minus root three is irrational. We are getting two contradictory statements. Let's now understand irrational numbers in detail. For any two positive rational numbers x and y, if root x and root y are irrational, then, for example, if you take two rational numbers, positive rational numbers x and y, if x is equal to five and say y is equal to two, what is root x? Root x is root five and root y is equal to root two. Okay, if Root x is greater than root five. Here, if root five is greater than root two, then surely we'll be having x is greater than y. Okay, that is five is greater than two. Okay, if you take another numbers, x is equal to five and y is equal to seven. Okay, root x will be root five, and root y will be root seven. So here, root x is less than root y. Root five we know is less than root seven. If root x is less than root y, it implies x is less than y. That is, five is less than seven. Okay. Next, a plus b root x is equal to c plus d root x. It implies that a will be equal to c and b will be equal to d. For example. Let's take a plus b root x is equal to nine minus five root x. So, in comparing these, here we have a, here we have nine. In place of a, we have nine, which means a will be equal to nine. Okay, b root x is equal to minus five root x. Should not forget this minus sign. So, of the form is 
c plus d root x. So here this will be c plus d root x which means c plus minus 5 root x. Okay and c is 9. 9 plus minus 5 root x. So this negative sign is important. So b root x is minus 5 root x which means b will be equal to minus 5. Okay, by comparing you can get the values of A and B. Another example, 7 plus B root X is equal to C plus 4 root X. Okay, then on comparing what do we get? C will be equal to 7 and B will be equal to 4. We can find the values. Another example, 2 plus 5 root 5 is equal to c plus d root 5. Okay, compare. So here we have root 5 and here also it is root 5. Comparing, we will be getting c is equal to 2 and d is equal to 5. So in comparing, you can find the values. Third property, the negative of an irrational number is always irrational. We have said that the negative of a rational number is rational. Root 2 is an irrational number. Negative of root 2 minus root 2 will also be irrational. Root 5 is an irrational number, negative of it minus root 5 will also be irrational. Next property, property 4, the sum of a rational and an irrational number is always irrational. For example, 2 plus root 2, okay. 2 plus root 2 is equal to 1.4142 etc. Okay, here what is happening? We are adding this 2 to this 1 and the decimal expansion part, decimal part will remain the same. Okay, when you add this, you will be getting 3.4142 etc. The decimal part is, that is a, it is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal part. Okay, therefore, you will be getting again an irrational number. So, adding a rational number to an irrational number, you will be again getting an irrational number. Okay. Why? Because for an irrational number, there is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal expansion. The product of a non-zero rational number and an irrational number is always irrational. Here again the same thing, when you multiply 2, 2 is the rational number and root 2 which is irrational, you will be multiplying 2 into 1.4142 etc. So on multiplying what happens? Just this value, it will be becoming 2 times. Okay, it, it will be just becoming two times, but the decimal expansion will be remaining the same. Okay, it will be just increasing, that is increasing by it becomes two times. Only that difference is happening. Okay, therefore, you will be getting a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal expansion, which is again an irrational number. So, we have said that when a rational number is added to an irrational number, you will be getting irrational number. Now, what about the case of taking two irrational numbers? The sum of two irrational numbers. When you take the sum of two irrational numbers, either you will be getting a rational number or an irrational number. It can be a rational number or an irrational number. Let's take an example. 3 plus root 5 plus 6 minus root 5. Here, 3 plus root 5 is a irrational number. 6 minus root 5 is also an irrational number. So, this will be equal to... 3 plus root 5 plus 6 minus root 5. 3 plus 6 plus root 5 minus root 5. Okay, root 5 minus root 5 is 0. What is 3 plus 6? That is 9. What is 9? 9 is a rational or irrational number? 9 is rational. 9 is rational. So, we are adding an irrational number. Irrational number plus irrational number you are getting a rational number. Okay. So, let us take another example. Here we have root 7 minus 3 plus root 2 minus root 2 plus 3. Okay. What do we get on adding? This becomes root 7 plus root 2 minus 3 plus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 becomes 0. Root 7 plus root 2. What is root 7 plus root 2? You, can you add it as like this? 7 plus 2 root 7 plus root 2 is equal to root of 7 plus 2. Is it possible? No, this is not equal. You cannot add this. Okay, you cannot say root of a plus root of b is equal to root of a plus b. This is wrong. Okay, root of a plus root of b, we can, you can only write it as this form. Okay, so you will be getting root 7 plus root 2, which is an irrational number. So, I am adding irrational 
plus irrational you are again getting an irrational number so it can be either adding the taking the sum of two irrational numbers can either be a irrational number or it can be a rational number so when you added two rational numbers you will be getting rational number when a rational number is added to an irrational number you, you will be getting an irrational number when two irrational numbers are added you can either get a rational number or you can get an irrational number next the difference of two irrational numbers what about taking the difference of two irrational numbers here let's take the first example this is an irrational number and this is an irrational number 8 minus root 10 minus 3 minus root 10 that is equal to 8 minus 3 plus minus root 10 minus of minus root 10 okay that is equal to 8 minus 3 is 5 plus minus root 10 minus of minus becomes plus plus root 10 minus root 10 plus root 10 is equal to 0 you are getting 5 and 5 is a rational number. Rational number is represented by letter Q. Okay. Next, second one, 3 plus root 2 plus 5 minus minus 7 root 2 minus 12. Second one, 3 root 2 plus 5 minus minus 7 root 2 minus 12. Let us take the difference of these two irrational numbers. 3 root 2 plus 5 minus minus 7 root 2 minus 12. That is equal to 3 root 2 minus of minus 7 root 2 plus 5 minus of minus 12. Okay. That is 3 root 2 minus of minus plus. 7 root 2 plus 5 plus minus of minus is plus 12 which is equal to 3 root 2 plus 7 root 2 you will be getting 10 root 2 10 root 2 plus 5 plus 12 that is equal to 17 17 plus 10 root 2 here root 2 is irrational multiplying an irrational number with the rational number you will be getting irrational so this part is irrational when an irrational number is added to a rational number again you will be getting an irrational number this will be irrational so this is an irrational number okay so we got that when two irrational numbers are taken and the difference is difference of it is found you will be either getting a rational number or an irrational it can be a rational number or it can be an irrational number Next, the product of two irrational numbers may or may not be rational. Again, we'll take an example. 3 minus root 5 into 3 plus root 5. 3 minus root 5 into 3 plus root 5. This is of the form a minus b into a plus b, which is equal to a square minus b square. That is 3 square minus root 5 whole square. 3 square is 9. And root 5 whole square is 5. 9 minus 5 which is equal to 4. What is 4? 4 is rational or irrational? 4 is a rational number. Okay. Next, next example. 2 plus root 3 into 3 minus root 2. Okay. That is here we are going to multiply 2 into 3 minus root 2 plus root 3 into 3 minus root 2. That is equal to 2 into 3. 2 into 3 is 6. Minus 2 into root 2 is 2 root 2. Plus 3 root 3. Minus root of 3 into 2 which is 6. Okay. So this is equal to 6 minus 2 root 2. Plus 3 root 3 minus root 6. So anything cannot be done. Still here only. You cannot simplify it further. Therefore this is an irrational number. So we understood that when two irrational numbers are taken, when you find the product, either it can be a rational number or it can be an irrational number. The quotient of two irrational numbers may or may not be irrational. So we'll take two irrational numbers and find the quotient 5 root 3 divided by 2 root 2. Okay, here 5 root 3 divided by root 5 uh, 2 root 2. When you take the quotient, so when you divide this, you will be again getting an 
irrational number only. Okay, this will be irrational. You will obtain an irrational number. So the next one, four root seventy five divided by seven root three. This is equal to four root of seventy five. Seventy five is twenty five into three. That is five square into three divided by seven root three, which is equal to four into five. Five square five can be taken out. Root three divided by seven root three. Root three root three can be cancelled. Four into five is twenty divided by seven. Twenty by seven. When you divide, you will be getting a rational number. Okay. So the quotient. Of two irrational numbers, either it can be a rational number or an irrational number. Both have chances. Next example, identify each of the following as rational or irrational numbers. So first one is root of twelve. Root twelve. Twelve can be written as two into two into three. Two two is a four. Four three is a twelve. Okay, so root twelve is root of two into two into three. These two twos can be taken out of the root. It becomes two root three. So when you take this number two root three here, two is a rational number and root three is an irrational number. So what is the product of a rational and irrational number? Product of a rational and irrational number we have studied will be an irrational number. Okay. So root twelve is irrational. Next one second. Three root two into root eight. Okay, three root two into what is root eight? Root eight can be written as two into two into two. Okay, so three into root two into root of two into two into two. So this is equal to three root two into here a two can be taken out two root two. Okay, so here while multiplying, first we will multiply these two. Three into two. Three into two is six. Into root two into root two. Root two into root two is two. Six into two, which is twelve. What is twelve? Twelve is a rational number. So we are getting three root two into root eight is rational number. We have obtained a rational number. So the first one is an irrational number, and the second is a rational number. Fifth example: insert a rational and an irrational number between three and four. This is very important. How to insert a rational and an irrational number between three and four? Between any two numbers. Okay. For this, what you have to do is, if you are taking a and b, if a and b are two numbers such that the a b when taken is not a perfect square. Okay, it is not a perfect square. In that case, you will be getting rational numbers. To get a rational number between a and b, you just have to take a plus b divided by two. You have to find what is a plus b by two. Then you will be getting a rational number between a and b. Okay, this is how you can get a rational number between a and b. To get an irrational number between a and b, okay, q dash between. A and B. What you have to do is you have to find the root of AB. So AB is not a perfect square. Remember, if you, if AB is a perfect square, in that case when you take the root, you will be getting a rational number. So there is no use. So here AB should not be a perfect square. Is very important. Here we have three and four. A is equal to three and B is equal to four. Therefore, to get a rational number between rational number between Three and four will be equal to three plus four divided by two, which is seven by two equal to three point five. Okay, we got a rational number between A and B. Next, to get an irrational number, irrational number between A and B will be equal to root of A into B. Here. Root of three into four, which is root twelve. Root twelve is an irrational number. So in the previous question also we have said that we have showed that root twelve is an irrational number. Sixth example: Which of the following numbers is greater? So first one, 
थ्री रूट टू एंड टू रूट थ्री थ्री रूट टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज रूट ऑफ वेन दिस थ्री इज टेकन इन साइड द रूट इट बिकम्स थ्री स्क्वेर थ्री स्क्वेर इंटू टू विच इज ईक्वल टू रूट ऑफ थ्री इंटू थ्री इंटू टू विच इज रूट थ्री थ्री सर नाइन नाइन टू सर एटीन रूट एटीन सो नेक्स्ट नंबर टू रूट थ्री टू रूट थ्री विल बी ईक्वल टू रूट ऑफ टू स्क्वेर इंटू थ्री विच इज रूट ऑफ फोर इंटू थ्री दैट इज ईक्वल टू रूट फोर इंटू थ्री इज ट्वेल्व ओके हियर लेट से एक्स इज ईक्वल टू एटीन एंड वाई इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेल्व वाई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व If x is greater than y, then root x will be greater than root y. Yes. Therefore, root eighteen is greater than root twelve. The root eighteen is greater than root twelve, which means three root two is greater than two root three. Why? Because three root two is root eighteen, and two root three is root twelve. Now the second one. Six cube root of three and five. Cube root of four. Okay, six cube root of three can be written as cube root of six is taken inside, then it becomes six cube into three. What is six cube? Cube root of six into six into six into three. That is equal to cube root of six into six thirty six thirty six into six two hundred and sixteen into three, which is equal to cube root of Six forty-eight. Okay, cube root of six forty-eight. So the next one, five cube root of four can be written as cube root of five cube into four. What is five cube? Five cube is equal to five five is twenty-five. Twenty-five into five is one twenty-five. One twenty-five into four is five hundred. Okay. Here again, this is the larger value. Therefore, this should be greater. Cube root of Six forty-eight is greater than cube root of five hundred, which implies six cube root of three is greater than five cube root of four. Okay, we studied about rational numbers and irrational numbers. We know that both of these comes under the category of real numbers. The union of the set of rational numbers and the set of Irrational numbers is called the set of real numbers. Or real numbers we are representing by letter R. Real numbers includes rational numbers and irrational numbers. Q union Q bar is real numbers. Okay, we know what is rational numbers and what are irrational numbers. Rational numbers is a set of all terminating or recurring decimals. Irrational numbers is a set of all non-terminating and non-recurring decimals. So when you take the union, you will be getting real numbers. Now let us do problems from exercise one B. Problem one, question one of exercise one B. State whether the following numbers are rational or not. The first one, two plus root two whole square. Okay, that is equal to a plus b whole square form a square two square plus two ab two into two into root two plus b square root two whole square, which is equal to two square is four. Plus four root two plus root two square is two, and that is equal to two plus four six plus four root two. Here, root two is an irrational number. Product of a rational and an irrational number is irrational. This irrational part, when added to a rational number, again you will be getting an irrational number. So this is irrational. Okay, not a rational number. So the second one, three minus root three whole square. That is equal to a minus b whole square. Three square minus two into three into root three plus root three whole square, which is equal to three square nine minus six root three plus three. That is equal to nine plus three twelve minus six root three. Root three is irrational. Six root three is irrational. And the difference when taken difference of a rational and irrational number will be an irrational number. Irrational. That is not a rational number. Okay. This is not a rational number. This is not a rational number. The third one, five plus root five into five minus root five. A plus b into a minus b form. That is equal to a square minus b square. A square five square is twenty five minus root five square is five. Twenty five minus five, which is equal to twenty. 
20 is the rational number. So, this is a rational number. Okay. Next one. Root 3 minus root 2 whole square. Root 3 minus root 2 whole square. A minus B whole square equal to root 3 square minus 2 into root 3 into root 2 plus root 2 square which is equal to root 3 square is 3 minus 2 into root 3 into root 2 will be 2 root 6 plus root 2 square is 2 that is 5 minus 3 plus 2 5 minus 2 root 6 root 6 is irrational 2 root 6 is irrational 5 minus 2 root 6 will be irrational okay next one so this is not a rational number Next, 3 by 2 root 2 whole square. That is equal to 3 square divided by 2 root 2 whole square. Which is 9 divided by 2 root 2 whole square will be 2 square into root 2 square. 9 by 4 into 2. 2 square 4 root 2 square is 2. 9 divided by 4 into 2 is 8. Okay, 8 can be written as 9 by 8. 2 cube into 5 raised to 0. This is expressed in the form. Denominator is expressed in the form 2m into 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n. If you are able to express the denominator in this form, you will be getting a terminating decimal expansion and therefore the number will be a rational number. This is a rational number. Next one, root 7 divided by 6 root 2 whole square. Root 7 square is 7 divided by 6 square into root 2 square is 2. Okay. 7 divided by 36 into 2. 36 into 2. 6 square is 36. So, let us see. 7 divided by what is 36? 36 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 2. That is equal to 7 divided by 2 to 2, 2, 2, 2 cube into 3 into 3, 3 square into 5 raised to 0. So, here we are not getting a terminating decimal expansion. Still, this will be a rational number. Okay. This is a rational number. Okay. Second problem, question 4 of exercise 1b, given universal set is equal to set of minus 6, minus 5, 3 by 4, minus root 4, minus 3 by 5, minus 3 by 8, 0, 4 by 5, 1, 1, 2 by 3, root 8, 3.01, pi 8.47. From the given set, we have to find the set of rational numbers, the set of irrational numbers, set of integers and set of non-negative integers. So, first let us find the set of rational numbers. Q. Q will be equal to set of check each of these minus 6 is a rational number minus 5 3 by 4 minus 5 3 by 4 can be written as minus 5 into 4 is equal to 20 20 plus 3 is 23 23 by 4 when you take the denominator 4 is equal to 2 square 5 raised to 0 2 square into 5 raised to 0 this is of the form 2 raised to m 5 raised to n. Okay. Therefore, you will be getting a terminating decimal expansion and hence it is a rational number. Minus 5, 3 by 4. Next, minus root of 4. Root of 4 is 2. Minus 2 is a rational number. Next, minus 3 by 5. 3 by 5. This is of the form 2 raised to 0, 5 raised to 1. Okay. Therefore, terminating number and hence a rational number. Minus 3 by 5. Next, 3 by 8, minus 3 by 8. 8 is 2 cube into 5 raised to 0. Therefore, terminating and hence a rational number. 0 is a rational number. 4 by 5. Again of the form 2 raised to 0, 5 raised to 1. This is a rational number. 1, 2 by 3. 1, 2 by 3 can be written as 3 into 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5. 5 by 3, which is equal to 5 by 3 is 1 point. 6, 6, 6, etc. That is 1.6 bar. Okay. That is non-terminating, repeating. Hence, it is a rational number. 1, 2 by 3. What about root 8? Root 8 is equal to 
root of 2 into 2 into 2, 2 can be taken out, 2 root 2. Root 2 is irrational, irrational into rational is irrational. Therefore, root 8 is irrational, cannot be included. 3.01 terminating decimal expansion, pi is irrational, 8.47 termi terminating. So, these is these. Here we get the set of rational numbers. Now, next is the set of irrational numbers. Only two irrational numbers we have, which is equal to root 8 and pi. Next is the set of integers. Integers includes negative numbers, positive numbers and 0. Okay, that is equal to minus 6. Fractions cannot be included. So, here minus of root 4. Root 4 is equal to 2. This is minus 2. Minus 2 can be included. Therefore, minus of root 4. Here again, fractions cannot be included. 0 can be included. 1 can be included. Okay, only this much. So, here we have got the set of integer. Next is a set of non-negative integers. Non-negative integers means 0 can be included and all the positive integers can be included. That is equal to 0, 1. Set of 0, 1. Okay. Problem 3. Question 6 of exercise 1b. Prove that each of the following numbers is irrational. So, we are taking root 3 plus root 2. We have to prove that root 3 plus root 2 is irrational. We have done a similar problem. So, first we will have to assume that root 3 plus root 2 is rational. Assume root 3 plus root 2 is rational. Okay, so it can be expressed as root 3 plus root 2 is equal to some x, where x is rational. Same steps we are going to follow. Next step is squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. Root 3 plus root 2 whole square is equal to x square which is root 3 square plus 2 root 3 into root 2 plus root 2 whole square equal to x square. Okay, Root 3 whole square is 3 plus 2 root 6 plus root 2 whole square is 2 that is equal to x square 3 plus 2 5 plus 2 root 6 is equal to x square. Okay, therefore 2 root 6 can be written as x square minus 5 and root 6 will be equal to x square minus 5 divided by 2. Okay, root 6 is x square minus 5 divided by 2. We have x is rational, we have taken x is rational. If x is rational, then x square is rational. If x square is rational, x square minus 5 is rational. If x square minus 5 is rational, then x square minus 5 divided by 2 is also rational. Okay, so this is our first thing, first assumption that we have taken. Okay, now we know that root 6 is irrational. Root 6 is an irrational number because inside the root we are not having a perfect square number. So, root 6 is an irrational number. If root 6 is irrational, left hand side is irrational, right hand side should also be irrational. x square minus 5 divided by 2 is irrational then. Okay. Then x square minus 5 should be irrational. x square is irrational and x will also be irrational. So, this is the statement that we are obtaining. So two contradictory statements. The first one is x is rational and the second is x is irrational. Since we are getting contradicting statement, what our assumption will be wrong. Okay, Our assumption is x is rational. That is root 3 plus root 2 is a rational number. This assumption is wrong. If, if it is not a rational number, it should be an irrational number. So, this is our proof. Root 3 plus root 2 is irrational. Problem number 4, question 13 of exercise 1b. Write in ascending order, first one, 3 root 5 and 4 root 3. 3 root 5 and 4 root 3. 3 root 5 can be written as taking 3 inside, it becomes 3 square into 5. 3 square is 9, 9 into 5 which is equal to root of 45. The second one, 4 root 3. 4 root 3 is equal to 4 square 
into 3 which is equal to 16 into 3 that is root 48. So which one is greater? Here root 45 we have and root 48 we have. If root x is greater than root y then we know x is greater than y. Here root 45 is less than root 48. Okay, when you put in the ascending order you will be having root 45 next root 48. So root 45 is 3 root 5. 3 root 5 is greater than 4 root 3. Okay, so the ascending order is 3 root 5, 4 root 3. Now the second one, 6 root 5, 7 root 3, 8 root 2, 6 root 5. How much do we get? Root of 6 square into 5, 6 square is 36, 36 into 5 is 180, root of 180. 7 root 3, that is root of 49, 7 when taken inside becomes 7 square into 3 that is equal to root of 147 and the third one root of 8 square into 2 which is root of 8 square 64 into 2 that is root of 128. So which one is greater? Root of 180 is the greatest and root 128 is the smallest. So when you put in the ascending order root 128 is less than root of 147 less than root of 180 that is 8 root 2 less than 7 root 3 less than 6 root 5 or when you put in the ascending order it is 8 root 2 7 root 3 6 root 5 okay problem number 5 question 14 of exercise 1b write in descending order the question is 2 fourth root of 6 and uh, 3 fourth root of 2. Okay. So here taking this 2 inside 2 fourth root of 6 will be equal to fourth root of 2 raised to 4 into 6 which is equal to what is 2 raised to 4? 2 raised to 4. 2 into 2 4. 4 2s are 8. 8 2s are 16. 16 into 6 which is equal to 4th root of 6 into 6 36 6 1s are 6 96 4th root of 96 so the next one 3 4th root of 2 which is equal to 4th root of 3 raised to 4 into 2 what is 3 raised to 4 3 into 3 9 9 3s are 27 27 3s are 81 81 into 2 which is equal to 4th root of 162. Which one is greater? This is the greater one. Okay. Therefore, you will be having 4th root of 162 greater than 4th root of 96. Or 3 4th root of 2 is greater than 2 4th root of 6. So when you put it in the descending order, first which one should come? This is the number which comes first. Then you will be having 2, 4th root of 6. Okay. So, this is the descending order. Sixth problem. Question 17 of exercise 1b. Insert 5 irrational numbers between 2 root 5 and 3 root 3. 2 root 5 can be written as 2 root 5 is equal to root of taking this 2 inside becomes 2 square into 5 which is equal to root 4 into 5 that is root 20 okay the second one 3 root 3 will be equal to root of 3 square into 3 3 square is 9 into 3 and that is root 27 so between root 20 and root 27 we are going to obtain rational irrational numbers okay so we have said that to get irrational numbers irrational numbers between a and b 
if you are taking a and b these two numbers a and b when you take the product if it is not a perfect square then it will be an irrational number so here we have 20 and 27 when you take the product you will be getting a number and it will is going to be an irrational number so to get the irrational numbers five irrational numbers between root 20 and root 27 it is very easy take the numbers between 20 and 27 so root of 21 is an irrational number because inside here we are not having a perfect square number. Then root of 22, root of 23, root 24. What about root 25? What is root 25? 25 is a perfect square number and the root of 25 is 5. So we cannot take 5. Root 25 cannot be taken. We need 5 numbers and root 26 can be written, taken. So root 21, root 22, root 23, root 24 and root 26 lies between root 20 and root 27. Therefore, irrational numbers, 5 irrational numbers between 2 root 5 and 3 root 3 are root 21, root 22, root 23 root 24 and root 26. You should have an idea why root 25 cannot be included because this is a perfect square number and when you take the root you will be getting a rational number. Problem number 7 question 20 of exercise 1b simplify each of the following first one fifth root of 16 into fifth root of 2 fifth root of 16 into fifth root of 2 can be written as Fifth root of 16 into 2. What is 16 into 2? 16 into 2 is equal to 32. Okay. So, 32 on dividing. First, you will be getting 16. Again, dividing 8. Again, with 2, you get 4. Again, with 2, you get 2. 2, 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is 32. Therefore, we will be having 32 is equal to 2 raised to 5 okay therefore the fifth root of 32 is fifth root of 2 raised to 5 and fifth root and raised to 5 can be cancelled you will be getting answer final answer 2 okay so the second third one this is question number third sub question 3 of question 20 3 plus root 2 into 4 plus root 7 multiplying 3 into 4 plus root 7 plus root 2 into 4 plus root 7 that is equal to 3 into 4 which is 12 3 into root 7 3 root 7 plus root 2 into 4 4 root 2 plus root 2 into root 7 that is root of 2 into 7 that is equal to 12 plus 3 root 7 plus 4 root 2 plus root 14 okay so this is your answer this is a simplified form that's all for today. In today's class, we have discussed in detail about what irrational numbers are and the properties of irrational numbers. We have studied the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of irrational numbers. Hope you all enjoyed the session. We have also solved many questions from exercise 1b. There are a few more questions left which you can solve on your own. I'll be back in the next session. Until then, stay tuned to Learn Oha. Learn Oha free hai par best hai. Thank you.